If you have an HP Omen gaming laptop, chances are you're struggling with the Omen Gaming Hub. It's a little bit of a bloaty program, but it does have a few neat features up its sleeve, including its game booster. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Canada Technology, and in this video, we're taking a look at how you can use the HP Omen Hub booster and how it affects your games. So once you've got the HP Gaming Hub up and running, you are going to head over to the My Games section. And uh, in order to enable the booster, all you really have to do is just toggle this switch on. And uh, that's it. Every time you launch a game now, the Gaming Hub will automatically boost the game according to your system settings. So what does it exactly do? So if you click on this Configure Booster button, you will see a bunch of quick settings and this is everything that the booster does to control how much resource how many resources can be freed up for the game that you're trying to run so this is divided into a bunch of sections so this is the essential uh, items so a few items here and then there are system resources that are currently using that are currently running and will be closed during boost then of course there are uh, window services that can be closed during the boost and uh, some other window services terminating which may cause problems so the only difference between these two tabs is that you can close these services without necessarily running into problems with system stability turning off these services uh, may cause problems uh, they also warn you here that these are advanced window services terminating these may disrupt normal operation of your pc so what it really does, what the HP, uh, what the Omen Gaming Booster really does is that it just closes down all of the unnecessary background uh, operations like Windows updates, file and printer sharing. Uh, it uh, sort of prioritizes your game on your CPU's core count. Uh, as you can see, there is an option for this right here, processor core affinity optimization. So it all allocates dedicated resources from your CPU to the game so that your game is the highest priority program for your system and that everything is used to make sure that it runs perfectly. Uh, it also clears unused um, unused working uh, memory and uh, standby memory. So any memory that's not being actively used gets wiped. So you get the maximum RAM, the maximum CPU performance for your game uh, while everything else takes the backseat as long as you're playing the game. Now you can manually head over to this cleaner tab and uh, just scan your system to see uh, what storage you can clear up. There is always a manual boost option right here that you can uh, run or to manually boost your game. So if I click it, as you can see, this runs and now the boost mode is activated based on how I have selected my system to be. So it's currently boosted. I can click on restore and all of these services start opening up. So Windows update that were disabled and memory boost and everything automatically comes back to life. So you can really go ahead and customize it based on however you want the booster to run to make sure that you get the maximum performance available. If you don't want your uh, PC to go into chaos mode every time you launch every game, you can disable global boost using this toggle and then you can configure boost for each individual game in your library. For example, if I want uh, boost to only run when let's say FC24 is running, I can right click and then check the enable booster box. What this does is that every time this game launches, my system is boosted. Uh, any other game I play, the system remains largely intact. And that's how easy it is to use the Omen Gaming Hub booster. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.